Today we're gonna look at France and how the tram is changing the streets of French cities. The example of France is very telling because in the middle of 20th century many French cities completely removed their tram systems in favor of wide street highways. But after several decades everyone had to admit that it is impossible to satisfy the ever-growing demand for one more lane and everything will go. Traffic jams are growing faster anyway. Priorities had to be revised and this is how a real tram renaissance began in France in 1980s. One by one different cities began to rebuild from scratch what they had once destroyed. Of course already with new standards and approaches. In this video we will look at lots of different French cities on the streets of which the tram has returned in recent years. Let's go! And first in our list is the city of Angers in West France. The trams first appeared here in 1896 and in 1949 it was completely closed. In 2007 they started building a new tram system, the first line of which was launched in 2011. This photo shows just the beginning of construction on one of the central streets and here is the result. Now there is a green tram tracks in the center and two car lanes, one of which is for buses only. And it's great that during the reconstruction all the trees on the street were preserved. On the first photo you can see the protection of their trunks. This is another place on the same street. And as we can see the street became much more pleasant and cozy thanks to green tram tracks and less asphalt. And another example from Angers. Before the reconstruction there was pure asphalt and parking wherever is possible. And now there is a green tram tracks, a cycle lane and new trees between the parking spaces. So now it looks much more livable. This is still Angers and there is already a very narrow street that runs through the district of small residential buildings, but here they found a place for tram tracks too. As you can see on many streets the trams replaced buses that used a dedicated lane, so capacity of public transport increased. The line from previous photo came to the neighborhood with four five-story buildings. Now there is a green tram tracks instead of two lanes for traffic and an ordinary intersection turned into a green roundabout. On this we leave Angers and heading to the city of Brest in the French region of Brittany. The population of the city is 140,000 people and the first tram period lasted here from 1898 to 1949. The modern tram opened in 2012. This picture shows one of the central streets which has been turned into a pedestrian zone with trams. This is also Brest and this square is a little bit away from the city center. And to be honest, I don't like this transformation. The trams are great, but where are all the trees gone? Why everything is so grey? And interesting point is that in order to make trams cheaper, the city bought them together with another French city, Dijon. Every city bought trams for themselves, but due to unification and a larger batch, the price of one tram turned out to be lower. The street on this picture was completely car-oriented before the renovation and now there is only one lane for cars and the rest of the space is for trams and pedestrians, which make it much more livable. One more street of Brest where two car lanes were replaced by green tram tracks. And the last picture from Brest. They've added green dedicated tram tracks but removed some pretty big trees. So they are really struggling with trees there. Our next stop is Lyon, one of the largest cities in France. Its agglomeration is more than 2 million inhabitants and current tram system started in year 2000, so you can see very few streets before the tram on Google panoramas. But you can. For example, along this street the tram line is regularly extended by one or two stops. There were four traffic lanes before, now there are two bicycle lanes and separate tram tracks which for some reason are not green. Streetcar parking also changed its orientation. 
and another Lyon street away from the city center. The principle here is the same, twice less lanes for cars, but green tram tracks, bicycle lanes and trees between the parking slots. Next city is Orléans. Its historical tram ran here from 1899 to 1938. The modern tram was launched in year 2000. Now trams have a dedicated lanes everywhere made instead of car lanes. Another important thing in street design here is a continuous sidewalk along the main street at the intersection with the side streets. It makes the street more pedestrian friendly and make drivers pay more attention to them. And that makes street it's safer, which is very good. And this is the central avenue of the city of Grenoble. The city used trams from 1897 to 1952. Then it changed them to trolley buses, later on to diesel buses, but finally decided to build a new tram system. The modern tram was launched in 1987. I've visited this amazing city once, so I can tell more about it, but now we can already see that they've removed lots of car lanes, made a dedicated tram line and significantly expanded the sidewalks. And finally we reached Paris. It is already a multi-million metropolis with agglomeration of more than 12 million. The first tram period in the French capital lasted from 1895 to 1938. Modern tram system started in 1992 and since then the network has been constantly growing and developing. Now there are already 12 lines and 150 kilometers of tracks. And as we can see tram is really changing appearance of the city. But this Parisian example is really shocking. There was a multi-level intersection, but they've demolished it and laid tram tracks here as well. Thanks to it, tram stops are easily accessible for passengers. To get to the platform, they don't need to go down the stairs and look for elevators or escalators. Everything is on the same level, which is crucial for disabled people. The next city on our way is Dijon. It's the city that bought trams in cooperation with Brest in 2012. As we see here, tram has dedicated tracks with grass covering, which makes it efficient and good looking. What's nice is that all the trees on the street were preserved, even with the arrangement of parking spaces between them. Another example from Dijon is interesting because the street was widened here, for which all the houses on one side were demolished. And at the same time, they've placed new trees on the renovated street next to the tram tracks. This is the city of Tours and this is how it changed with the appearance of the tram. Oh no, they've removed the parking spaces, locals should hate the tram. But look how stylish those trams are. It looks like iPhone on rails and now they can use it instead of this. Oh, so much tram cities in France. I apologize if you are already tired, but we are close to the finish. This is Strasbourg, a city right next to the German border. Its current tram network is one of the oldest among the new ones in France. It was launched in 1994. So you will not be able to see most of the local streets without the trams on Google Panoramas, but in some places it is possible. For example, here is the street on the outskirts where the tram tracks have recently appeared and on which local trams are running to the German city of Kiel. And to make this international line running, they've built several bridges over the rivers and canals, which were made tram, bicycle, pedestrian. Yep, cars are not allowed here. Well, this is not a full list of French cities with the trams, but I think you've got the main idea. They are not just put the tram rails on the existing street, but use it for a total rethinking of a street space to make it safer and more livable. Tram tracks are mostly covered with grass, which makes street looks better and also helps to deal with the rainwater. And that is very important due to the global climate change. As one of the most efficient mobility tools, tram always has a 
priority above private cars. That means dedicated lanes where cars can't go and leading at the intersections. That makes trams fast and reliable so they become attractive and affordable even for car drivers. And due to this we can take street space from cars and use it for wider sidewalks, cycling infrastructure or trees planting. And that will make our city more sustainable and, in general, more pleasant place to live. So that is what your city should do to become better. And that's the lesson we should learn from French cities. And that's all for a moment. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave your comments. And also visit our Patreon page, where you can support our channel. See you in the next videos.